Welcome family, I'm excited that you are here. Thank you so much for watching, for commenting, your support. Those testimonies are impacting lives. We are the most fired up family. Hallelujah, I'm proud of that. We are the most fired up family. When I'm going through comments, I see God is doing wonders. I can feel the motivation. I can feel the courage, the strength. It's all here. Hallelujah. It means the presence of God is here, taking us forward. If you are here for the first time, you are welcome. Every one of you supporting this ministry by watching the videos, liking. Whenever I post a video, you come and support. God is so good. He's faithful. I'm grateful to God for all of you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I'm here to announce that we are graduating. We are graduating. No more just being motivated and feeling fired up is good, but it has its own place. God has moved us, moved this ministry, moved each one of us from different levels. Some of you have testified that since you joined this family, you have been praying even more. I was in Johannesburg and I went to check a certain place. And I met a sister who is part of this family. And she was like, are you Sister Agnes? I said, yes. And she was so excited that we met. One thing she said, your videos, the fastings, they've really changed my life. And she was about to call her sister. So I said, okay, we are in a hurry. Uh, greet her. And uh, you see that there are lives in all nations that God is touching. Just by you coming here to share your stories, to watch the videos, and God is lifting and adding more and more because he's the one behind this ministry. And thank you so much for that. Hallelujah. So we are graduating. We are moving from just being motivated to being undefeated. We want to be undefeated because Jesus defeated the enemy already on the cross of Calvary. We don't want to stay on one mountain for too long. We want to be able to see what is causing that stagnation. What is it that is hooking you to one place in life? So we want to graduate from just being, oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so exciting. The word was powerful. What did you do after that? How has your life changed by that powerful message? Is there something that you can do? Is there something that you can implement? Is there something that you can act on? And I want us to move from just receiving prophetic word, being so happy about the word, and going back home and sitting there helpless. So we are graduating from that. We are moving from that. It's good to be motivated. It's good to be joyful, to receive the word with gladness. It's all good. But we want to see tangible results. We want to say, devil, you cannot defeat me. You have been defeated already. I put you in your place. So you will see me talking about more of this. Moving from just knowing about cases and uh, spiritual warfare. It has its place and the awareness is there. God has helped us to know about all these things. But we have to move from that level to knowing that the blessing is ours, to knowing that Jesus paid it all on the cross of Calvary. The enemy has been defeated. That is not going to change. So you are fighting a defeated enemy. You are fighting something that has already been destroyed. We thank God for revelation, knowledge, we we'll continue to understand things, to walk with our eyes open, but I want us to graduate from that level to now saying, I put you in your place. You do not belong here with so much stubbornness, spiritual stubbornness. And that comes by knowing the word of God. We'll be praying more the word of God. We'll be doing more of the things that are empowering us. So we move from just the level of feeling good to having a life, a lifestyle of results, a life of showing results, tangible results that you can say, I'm a child of God. I was there and now I'm here. I know that 
testimonies and testimonies will continue to come. God graduates us. God leaves us. He takes us from one level to another. Remember that we pray for breakthroughs. The next level anointing is here. And not only for you, but for this ministry as well. Where God takes you, we look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Who you look up to, who you admire, who you focus on, who you follow, determines where you can end up in life. No one wants to follow someone who is not going anywhere. No one wants to follow anybody who doesn't have any results. So you are following certain YouTube channels, maybe ministries, because of something that you have seen. To be in reverse, you are not only going to be following people because of what you have seen, but people will come following you because of what they will see. And I'm not saying that you start your YouTube channel or you stop going to church because now people will be following you. No, it's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying people want to see results. So this is what we are going to focus on. We are going to focus on God himself, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, more and more, who is able to enable us move from one degree of glory to another. I'm talking about something that I've seen, I've experienced, and I know. Many people talk about things that they've never experienced at all. What I'm about to share is real. And I want you to know that information is not transformation. I can drop the mic just right here. I can stop just right here. This is the message. Information is not transformation. Knowledge is not transformation. It's not your change of story. The Bible can be there with so much knowledge. There are people who have read the Bible several times from Genesis to Revelation, just getting information, but no transformation at all. So I want you to know that we are going to move from a place of just information, knowledge, revelation, to a place of transformation. This is what God wants us to be. This is what God has for us. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6. This scares me a lot all the time I read about this. It scares me in a good way because it moves me to a place of expansion, a place of more than enough abundance to see the mighty hand of God upon my life. Look at this in verse 6. The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, you have stayed long enough at this mountain. It's time to move. It's time to expand. It's time to find a way to come out. It's called stagnation. And this is not the will of God. So in this family, God is moving us to another level. And I want you to keep watching. Keep coming. Keep watching the videos because things are going to be different. Information alone is useless. Look at James 2 verse 26. The Bible says faith without works is dead. You don't want your faith to be dead because you are not putting it to use. It's useless. It's like a packed car that can rust. By the time you come back, maybe after years, it cannot move anymore. Faith is a force. It moves mountains. That information, those promises, the shared word, the message that you receive, the prophetic words that you get, that is information that is made to give you tangible results. Because then you add faith to it and you get to your destination. So I'll be talking more about this. I'll be talking more about expanding your territory. And God wants you to expand in whichever area you are in. You will find that you are not expanding because maybe your health is not in order. God wants to heal you. So your faith should be on healing. Lord, heal me. Give me long life. Let people see that I'm established by you. I'm calling upon your name. Even if you go to the doctor, be directed by the power of the Spirit of God. Go to the right place. Go to the right doctor. God will give wisdom to the doctor who will help you. And you might not see. You will be seeing the doctor helping you. But angels are surrounding you, giving wisdom to whoever is supposed to attend to you. And that problem will be over. I know what I'm talking about. 
when I got cancer, before I went to the doctor, I had this dream. Actually, it was a dream, but you know where you are half awake and you can feel things. I had seven men surrounding me, surrounding my bed. That was my bed because I was sleeping. I had not gone to the hospital yet. That morning, I had these men dressed in white. I know doctors dress in white, but those in the theater, they have these blue gowns. But those ones had white gowns and they had their hats in white. And they were doing things on me. They were operating on me. They, someone was taking, removing blood and putting blood. Someone was taking care of my feet. And I could feel things happening in my body. Like someone is doing something. And you know when you have a dream, two things to look out for. Were you scared or were you happy? How was your feeling? How did you feel after that dream? Because a dream from God, you know. If those men surrounding me in white were giving me stress or I was feeling something bad or there was pain in my body as they were working on me and I was feeling strange and they were scary, you know the enemy is always scary. If those were demons around me or satanic people around my life, surrounding me, surrounding my bed and operating on me. I was going to know. The Spirit of God was going to show me. I was going to be very uncomfortable. And I would have woken up with so much rage, with so much stress, with so much fear. And then you wake up, you want to pass on that dream. When I woke up to that dream, I had so much peace. The first thing that came to my mind was those were angels. They were so peaceful. They were not talking, but... Everyone was doing their part. Oh, this God is real. I am so convinced that my operation, everything that happened in that hospital, when I got admitted, was because of the work that had already been done spiritually. God had sent destiny helpers, people to help me. And he had already accomplished my healing. He had already done my healing. He had already finished it all. And the doctors were just fulfilling what had already happened in the realm of the spirit. This is what happens when you trust the Lord. When your life is fixed upon Jesus and you have no backup plan. You have no plan B. We are not going to have plan B. We will focus on Jesus alone, the healer. You cannot pray for financial breaks leaving your health falling apart. I've been sick before and I know that the only thing you are thinking about is the pain in your body. You can even forget your children. You can forget someone is smiling. You can forget about all that. You are not worried about money. How am I going to work and make money? You cannot think about that. So we are going to be people who are prospered. Children of God as according to the word of God that he wishes above all things that you prosper. Prosper in your body, prosper in your family, prosper in your finances, in your business. You have to prosper in your career with tangible results. God should heal you. God should bring abundance to you. God should give you that job. That job is there. Maybe you are praying for a job. God says, start a side business. Start while you are looking for a job. Start your own business. Expand your thinking. You are going to expand your territory. And that expansion does not just depend on God. It also depends on you. How you see things. You will begin to see things as God sees them. You will see your life as God sees it. You are looking at someone who has come from nowhere. Actually. Yeah? From nowhere. That is the best description. From nowhere. And here I am. God has done it. God is doing it. God will continue to do it. Because we do not trust in chariots. We do not trust in our own strength. Not in what we know. We trust in the name of the Lord. Not in the arm of flesh. But in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will trust more in him. We will draw more closer to him. We will arise. 
and let the Debras arise in this family. Let the Esthers arise. Let the Abigails arise. Let all the women arise. Hallelujah. Brothers too, you will arise. Rise to the occasion like Joseph did. You will arise without fear. Because without fail, you will pursue, overtake, and collect all. You will recover all. Everything that belongs to you. Anything that is your desire. God is going to do it for us. So I'll be sharing any awareness that comes to my spirit. Anything that I know that you have to be aware of. But we are not going to give the enemy so much leeway. So much platform. We are going to talk about Jesus more. We are going to focus on the blessing that Jesus went to fight for. This should be exciting for you. God has so much in store for us. Hallelujah. In this new level, new season, I'm interested more, among other things, that everyone in this family, you live a life of power, influence, success, abundance. Hallelujah. Yes, it all belongs to us. I want you to start fighting that negative mindset. That if you have a good life, if you have it all, if you are prospered, then your faith is going to be affected. That is a lie. That is a lie that has been preached to us. That is a lie that is holding many Christians back. You are coming out of that kind of thinking. We have to take back what belongs to us to occupy until Jesus comes. And so if you are in this family and you have a challenge about the things I've mentioned, I want you to stretch yourself. I want you to start fighting that kind of thinking because the Lord wants you to expand. The word of God is clear that you break forth on every side. Hallelujah. You will take territories. Do not hold back. It's not the time to hold back. He wants you to occupy that which belongs to you. So I want you to challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to move up, level up, push yourself, stretch, expand, break forth, and be victorious in Jesus' name. I want us all in this family to rise and be for the blessing. I get angry to see abundance in the hands of people who are greedy, people who are wicked, who cannot take a portion of that and see the word of God preached or expand someone's life, extend and even lessen the burden of someone who doesn't have anything. So this is the season that God is putting all the resources in the hands of those who are willing to say, yes, the blessing is for me. That's why we have to move to another level right now. We are moving to another level. We are going to challenge ourselves in this family. If you look at the gospel, Jesus preached good news to the poor. What is that good news? Good news to someone who is poor is abundance, getting a job, getting that profitable business, leveling up, going to another level, having abundance so you can have more than enough. What is good news to someone who is sick? Getting healing so that that person can work, can progress in life. What is that good news that you are looking for? The good news is not only talking about spiritual warfare, fighting the enemy. The good news is receiving the abundance from God. And that abundance is abundance in everything. Abundant health, abundant peace, joy. This is what we are going to focus on because the kingdom of God is on us and we are not going to move forward if we are talking more about what the enemy has done. Instead, we will talk more about what Jesus has done, what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Come and see what the Lord has done and everything else will fade away. We focus and putting fire on our prayer altar, talking about Jesus, praising the Lord, dancing, lifting his name high, doing good, and everything else will diminish because wasting time too much, 80% of our time talking about what the enemy is doing, how he has attacked, and the, the cases, and how we get scared every single morning, wake up and 
maybe you run to this ministry to come and see a video about spiritual warfare, how you can fight the enemy, forgetting that Jesus has defeated the enemy already. We are for the blessing. Spiritual warfare and all these negative things, they are his own place. We fight the enemy. We oppose the enemy. We collect back. But we are going to enjoy the blessing without fear, without being terrorized, without giving the enemy so much space to flourish. I hope we are together in this. We will rise. Hallelujah. We will rise and lift the name of Jesus higher. We will rise and say the Lord has done it for us. He will do it again. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I hope you have been encouraged and you are graduating. Everyone, we are moving from this level to the higher level where we can lie down in green pastures and enjoy the blessing of the Lord because we will declare it every single day. We will be talking about the blessing of the Lord every single day. The blessing cannot be added with sorrow. Proverbs 10, verse 22. Thank you, Father, for being a good daddy. Thank you for moving us from this level to another level, to the highest level in life. Hallelujah. Watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. If you are here and you haven't subscribed yet, take time to do so. You are spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. So take time to subscribe. Be part of this family. And only what God is able to do be done in your life in Jesus' name. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.